Good day, XCOM fans. This is Delta Angel Fire here, bringing you another XCOM multiplayer match. Today's match is going to be between myself, Delta, currently ranked at 69th on the worldwide ladder, and this video will be from my point of view, and my opponent is going to be Nephilim, currently ranked at 48th on the worldwide ladder. Yes, I have since learned that even though ranked matches are limited by continental regions, that the ladder itself is actually a worldwide one, making things a little bit more impressive. Today I'm currently using my 9800 point twin stim gunner build, my kind of standard go-to. My opponent is using a 10,000 point mixed soldier build, and we are going to be playing a casual match on Boulevard map. This match is going to be unranked, you can tell by the 120 second timer, giving us a little more time to think, and hopefully making it a little more tactically interesting of a game. You can see here that I got the option to go first, and as usual, I'm using my sectoids to scout out all over the map as quickly as I can while I try to maneuver my gunners into position. Uh, I have not actually seen any of my opponent's troops yet, so I decide, since this is a casual match, I'm going to try playing it safe and see how that works out. You can see me hunkered down here behind the high cover statue as I await to see where exactly my opponent is going to pop up from. As of right now, there's still actually no telling what my opponent is using. He could be using soldiers, cyber discs, uh, sectoid commanders. With that, it's safest to keep my uh, vulnerable soldiers towards the back, because if he does have mind control, that's going to be a fairly annoying bit. But here, I'm going to use my sectoids to try to scout out where all the soldiers are. I've found three of them so far, one of them with a fairly high hit point total, so he's obviously going to become a priority target. All the uh, overwatches going off, I'm starting to find a couple more of his soldiers. I spotted at number four as he takes out one of my four sectoid scouts. And it's usually pretty safe to assume that if there's any more, they're going to be kept in that, in that same general area. Uh, that's why you want to get your sectoid scouts early, so you have your opponent pinned down to a smaller area. I'm uh, moving my soldiers forward and stimming up which keeping them behind high cover is actually going to work out a little bit in their favor but I am possibly stimming up a little late. I can see five of his soldiers right now which means also that five of his soldiers can definitely see me. You can see he has a sectoid here going for a little mine merge on his sniper which is a questionable idea, but regardless, the only thing he's actually going to lose from this is the sectoid because I was planning on taking out the sniper in the first place. However, one of the bad things that a twin stim gunner build does not want to deal with is actually taking damage before they've had a chance to deal their own. Even though you're only taking half damage thanks to the stims, you really don't want to take any more than you have to because you can still only take about four or five hits, even from light plasma rifles, before your soldier is about to go down. Now you can see me moving into position here, and taking out the sectoid mine merge, which, while it may have seemed like a bad idea, it wasn't really too awful, because the only thing in addition he, that he lost was the sectoid, because either way I was going to run and gun and kill the sniper that way. With this I've managed to take out a total of three of his units, but this still leaves another three units that can deal significant damage to my already wounded soldier. Now the gunner, even though she's still under the effects of stim pack, is still taking two or three points of damage from each light plasma rifle shot. Where if he just gets a little bit lucky, bam right to the head, then my soldier goes down and I'm down to whatever remains of my sectoids and my other gunner. At this point, I'm in a little bit of trouble because my stim pack has actually run out. And even though I still have a significant amount of hit points, it's still not enough to protect me from more than one or two light plasma rifle shots, especially if he chooses to overexpose himself to get the additional crits. I managed to take out his longer distance soldier because I had a slightly better chance to aim, but as I feared, he's coming around, ignoring my cover, and getting in up close and personal, and with that, he manages to store for a crit and take out my second gunner. I managed to get in close with my last remaining sick toy, taking out his only one of his two remaining soldiers, and now it is down to one, uh, I believe, smoke jumper versus my one sick toy. I managed a lucky survival there because he is actually out of ammo for his light plasma rifle after using all those shots on my gunners earlier. 
and I take this opportunity to actually run away. At this point, it's really just, you know, basically a fun game because it's pretty much guaranteed that I've already lost, but if I can keep running away and keep my sectoid under high cover while his soldier is perhaps only under low cover and still only shooting at me without the 10% bonus from the light plasma rifle, I actually do have yeah, a bit of a shot. But really, if we were playing to the most serious of our ability, I would pretty much be dead right now. Right now you see him coming up, sneaking up on me. I'm still behind high cover. These trucks, and if you ever see them, the uh, station wagons as vehicles all count as high cover, which means they also block line of sight and they give you the 40% uh, dodge bonus. This mail truck here is also going to be high cover. Keeping your characters in high cover is going to be a real significant advantage, especially against his low cover of his little car door there. You actually managed to score a pretty lucky shot there at 45%. And at this point, it's going to be, well, pretty much the final showdown. Uh, there's no point, nowhere I can really run right now that will keep me out of his line of sight. So I say, to hell with it, I'm going to go for it. And it's basically, if I crit him for the 50%, I would have won the match. And if not, well, that happens. Thanks, guys. That was another GG. Um, it's a shame I lost, but you know what? There's always something to be learned. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next mission.